Hello there, people. Welcome back to the Eagle Byte 83 channel, where the past never dies. And of course, your host, Eagle Byte. Tonight, we are continuing our adventure in Nexus, the Jupiter Incident, which is one of my all-time favorite games because of the story and the immersion and the realism of the sci-fi uh, portrayed in that game. So, without further ado, we should probably just go into it, shall, shall we? Like, I had, I don't really have anything. Oh, I'm drinking tea. That's, that's kind of a new thing for me right now. Instead of, like, just having water or iced tea, I'm drinking actual tea. <laughs> but that also means I'm going to have to wait a while until this cools down. Um, but yeah, let's uh, jump back into the game, shall we? Yesterday, we... Uh, actually, we can watch the intro again. That's actually kind of cool. I like it. I really do. Ad starts in 15, 14, 13, 12. Okay. Okie dokie. Also, I've decided to use that uh, retro game uh, logo because I'm using it. I used it for X Beyond the Frontier, and it's kind of what I'm going to try to use from now on when I'm specifically trying to play, or specifically when I'm playing retro games. Um, oh shit! Sorry, sorry. I forgot. I forgot. Forgot to switch the C. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, that retro game logo over there. Um. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, my back. Should probably recline a little bit. Who is Richard Cromwell? He is history itself. The first human born in outer space. His birth marked the end of the golden age of space exploration. The new age came to be known as the colonization era. The moon colony was established, and not long after, the first murder in space took place. In the AI wars, Earth's economy collapsed. Entire continents were left without energy and information. A planet-wide ban on artificial intelligences was put in place. AI wars. Just 10 years old, the legendary Richard Cromwell signed the Earth Sector Convention. One boy symbolizing an entire people's aspiration towards a civilized, peaceful future. Who was Richard Cromwell? He was my father. On the day I was born, he bought an Orbital Limited bomb in my name. Today, it's worth 13,000 times its original value. The year was 2067, the year we discovered the wormhole. Yeah, we never really do anything with that bond as well. Like, my that's just appointed captain of Noah's pointless life. information, actually. Fluff. To this day, I cannot forget the awe that ship inspired in me. It took off when I was 10. It was around that time that I decided I wanted to become an astronaut. I gained a dream, but lost a father. Once I graduated from the academy, I signed up with the Federation fleet. As it turned out, I joined at the worst possible time. OSEC, Orbital Limited, Aerospace, one after the other, the colonies of the mega corporations seceded. At the academy, we could see where it was all heading. 
It was a strange war. People killing each other took all the money they had earned and spent it together. The area around Mars became a battleground. We did fight for the ISA, it apparently. It was not our war. We were no more than foot soldiers. Oh yeah, the ISA is probably the Federation, yeah. International Space Outer Stages. space is a calm place. My ship was hit in an encounter near Phobos. And for 10 Earth years, I orbited the red planet in a cloud of space debris. Below me, the Martian war was raging. I could only stare, my eyes frozen to glass. That they finally found me is nothing short of a miracle. They rescued me and reanimated me. No one seemed to care which side I'd been fighting on. I became a war hero in a war that we ultimately lost. The whole of space has changed. The ISA has little authority beyond the orbit of the moon. Corporate fleets and illegal AIs control the outer solar system. With the boom in colonization, there aren't enough experienced captains to meet the demand. Space Tech made me an offer. I took it. I took it. Uh, 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 yeah, okay. Load game. Um, actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Let me try something here. I want to, I want to test something. Uh, this is not the save file that we say that we, no. The yeah, shut up. Uh, no. Okay, low game. Are these the chapters? Maybe. Okay. Well, we might be able to do this. Just to just to recap everything. Let's go over the. Uh, journey here as well. Marcus Cromwell, Captain's Log. 0309-2111. It's like a movie. We have left Earth Sector. Our destination is Jupiter. We face a journey of almost eight months. On the way, we're picking up two Space Tech cargo ships. They're waiting in orbit around the moon. I have been assigned as the leader of the convoy. 0509-2111. The two cargo ships have joined us. Their crews are minimal, but the two captains could talk the rivets out of a bulkhead. It's going to be a long eight months. Fortunately, the Stiletto's 12th sister ship, the ISF Hawking, will be joining us. It's sailing under the ISA flag, but the captain, Francis DeLorean, is an old friend of mine. 0712-2111. I joined the firm three years ago. So much has happened since then. The Mars quarantine, the Ceres crisis. I wonder if this mission will be remembered as the Jupiter incident. Twenty-three, twelve, twenty-one, eleven. Like an early Christmas gift, the Hawking finally arrived, two days behind schedule. Francis hasn't changed. It's good to see the old man again. O four O two twenty one twelve. It seems I was tempting fate. This mission may yet be known as the Jupiter incident. Space Tech spy satellites are broadcasting some alarming pictures. The Kasaki Syndicate's recent activities have generated a lot of attention. I suspect it's no accident that Francis is on his way there. It's reassuring to have the ISA on our side. O one o three twenty one twelve. The final briefing has arrived. Mission template: 
reconnaissance, espionage. The Kisaki Syndicate's technological prowess has the mega corporations running scared. According to our intelligence, the source of their revolutionary advances is the Shokenja research station in Jupiter Sector. Our task is going to involve surveillance at the station. It Shikenja. may even extend to sabotage or a hostile incursion, if those are our orders. Every corporation in existence would love to pry into the Syndicate's research data. The situation is tense. A confrontation is almost inevitable. 2004-2112. We have arrived at Jupiter Sector and will soon reach Europa. The convoy is heading towards the twin stations Sunflower and Michelangelo. We're receiving a code red from the base. It entails the highest level of corporate security measures. Alright. Um, that's just backstory. As you know, yesterday we did the first episode, the first chapter, you could say, and we have arrived at a point in time where we are basically approaching Chikenja. Uh, and we saved Francis and his ship, the ISA Hawking. And they couldn't go on, so now we're it's up to us. Because Chikenja is actually... What was it? They issued a May Day. Yeah. So we're going there to check it out. Basically, we're, we're given, like, finally an excuse to check out Chukenja. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's try this. And let's restart just so we don't miss the intro. Oh, they're gonna narrate for us. No, they didn't. Oh, right. This is a mission after a mission. It's not a briefing. Possible location of Kisaki Shukenja base. We have arrived at the designated region, sir. We are unable to detect the base. Our long-range sensors are scrambled. The asteroids are jamming them. Calibrating trace pattern now. Trace pattern ready. I am uploading the coordinates. Yeah, before you do that... Oh, that's the manual panel. Oh, that's great, actually. Weapons for... No, that's not... Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Chemical engines... Pleasure, yeah. Uranium gatling guns. Uranium. Weapon... Developed from all the story. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah. And that's the repair. Exactly, okay. Um. Yeah. Go for it. We've got a couple of nav points to check out in our search for Chikenja. Let's go for the first one. Yes, sir. Already here? Oh yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing here. Moving to yes, the next sir. one. Can I drink? No, I can't. Sir, we intercepted a short segment of an emergency signal. We lost the broadcast a short time afterwards. Our sensors are going crazy, sir. Oh yeah, remember yesterday we actually saw an alien ship. Uh, that kind of, like, just warped away, and we have no idea what's going on. But apparently, the alien ship is the source of the Kasaki Syndicate's recent advanced technology, you know? Like, and that's why everything that they have produced 
is like classified completely. Corporate secrets. Captain, we don't have much time. Let's follow the navigation points. I am. Jesus. Captain, don't you think we should... Yes, I am, okay? Shut up. We've detected the station, sir. It seems intact, but it's not responding oh. to our hails. Captain, please, we need to hurry. More ships may be lurking nearby. If someone else gets there first, the loss to our scientists will be incalculable. We're going, we're going, okay? We're heading there. This is the Shikenja base. Pretty big base. Like a massive docking port there. Automatic message. You have entered the private property of the Kasaki Syndicate. Leave immediately, or we will open fire. We have detected the platform, sir. It's an automatic message, though. Yeah, destroy it. Unknown object detected. That's another platform. Sir, we have identified a weak emergency signal. Oh. Its source is the syndicate asteroid tug, the Ashigaru. And if we've no time to pick through wrecks. The base is more important now. But no. sir, the log registered that we received an emergency signal. According yeah. to the Earth Sector Treaty, we are obliged to help. May I recommend? Forget it, Lieutenant. More lives are at risk aboard the station. The broadcast signal of the tug is very weak, sir. I doubt that anyone else will have picked it up. I suggest that we approach the tug and send a rescue team over. Awaiting your orders, sir. Yeah, More platform, we're doing... sir. We're doing that. We can't. I think that's a bonus objective. Uh... Affirmative. Our relief team have left the deck. There we go. All right, Morning. our commandos Incoming can take care of that. Yeah, our. Wait, is it targeting the the dropship? Warning, incoming missile. Oh yeah, there's Warning. there it is. Incoming missile. Ow. Well, our commandos didn't take any damage. All right, we're going to have to kill all the platforms then. Which platform is closest? Uh that one is ten one hundred. Yeah, okay. Let's go for that one and kill it. Yes, sir. Commando to captain. We're moving in. Oh, you know what? We could actually use torpedoes against those. Yes! Uh, how... How did you move away? Affirmative. No, actually, you know what? Um, that one... Wait... 20, 18, 20, oh, that's closer, 18, go for that one then, and torpedo it to hell, see what happens, uh, yeah, there we go, yes, see if we can, if we can, like, take down... Commando dispatched. Wait, did you find... Did you find anything? Wait, what? 
Warning. Wait. Incoming missile. No. Why are Warning. there com Incoming what? missile. Oh shit. Unknown object detected. Uh, where's our commando group? Have you, did you get to the Ashigaru? Oh, the Ashigaru. Oh, I thought it was closer to us. Okay. We have lost a fighter. Warning. We are on. Wait, what? No, 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 no. That was a bad call. Bad call, bad call. I don't know. I think I might have actually pressed the wrong button. The asteroids are jamming them. Calibrating trace pattern now. The fighters are not supposed to take them Trace down. pattern ready. I am uploading the coordinates. The fighters are only supposed to attack other fighters. I don't know why the fighters started launching for some for some Understood. reason, yeah. It's very strange. Uh, it might be I should probably Oh. I can't use the torpedoes if the the uh Ashugari is in close proximity of the platforms. Damn. Okay. Because I don't want to destroy that one too. I have detected energy traces, most likely from a battle, source unknown. I am picking up molecules from One moment. Uh... Yeah, okay, never mind. We have located a broken piece of drive mask. It belongs to a Corvette-sized ship. We cannot detect any other wreckage. Sir, it seems intact, but it's not responding to our hails. Captain, please, we need to hurry. More ships may be lurking nearby. If someone else gets there first, the loss to our scientists will be incalculable. I just love the vapor trails of the chemical engines in this game. Maybe they're not that realistic, I'm not sure, but... You have entered the private property of the Kasaki Syndicate. Leave immediately, or we will open fire. We have detected the platform, sir. Mm-hmm. Alright, destroy it. With hull... Understood. Yeah. Hull-piercing weapons are destroyed. Wait, what? Oh, okay. How far away is it? Oh, not too far away. Sir, we have identified a weak emergency signal. Its source is the syndicate's asteroid tug, the Ashigaru. Oh, oh wait, no there time it is. To pick through Rex. The base is more important now. But, sir, the log registered that we received an emergency signal. According to the Earth Sector Treaty, we are obliged to. Oh, it isn't actually in that vicinity. Okay. Well... Where 
Where's the closest? Okay. Help! May I recommend? Wait, what happens if we do use the torpedo side? Actually, let's save here. Ego to... In progress. Okay. There we go. Now, if we do this... Aye, aye, sir. Okay. Forget it, Lieutenant. More lives are at risk aboard the station. Protected. The broadcast signal of the tug is very weak, sir. I doubt that anyone else will have picked it up. I suggest that we approach the tug and send a rescue team over. Awaiting your orders, sir. More platforms, sir. Yeah, I know. Unknown object detected. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Good. Unknown object detected. Well, that didn't reach the target. Warning. Incoming missile. Affirmative. Warning. Incoming missile. Unknown object detected. Unknown object detected. Come on. How many missiles do we carry? We have two more missiles. I'm going to see if any of them actually may reach their target. Warning. Incoming missile. Warning. From... Incoming missile. Warning. Incoming missile. Enemy Our flak cannons aren't... Found. Aren't really that Warning. good. Alright, that was our last missile. Now we're gonna have to pick them off one by one. That was the closest one. That was the closest. Go for the hull. Affirmative. Warning. Incoming missile. Nope, that didn't work either. Damn. Warning. Alright. Incoming missile. Warning. Heavy weaponry is offline. Unable what? to complete task. Oh, shit. Ah, okay. Wait, I only have one uranium ga Gatling gun? Uh, okay, fine. Use the... this, then. Maybe our surgical strike weapons will be effective, but then again, maybe not. Warning. Incoming missile. Warning. Incoming missile. Unknown object detected. Warning. Incoming missile. Unknown object detected. Warning. Incoming missile. Oh, we can take them out with the precision weapons. Okay. Well then, what are we waiting for? Jeez, that's a lot of objects though. Take them all out. If we can. Yes, sir. Ooh, our flak cannon actually worked for once. We only have one flak cannon? I thought we would have at least two. Wait, this is the the initial chapter, I think, yeah. Sir, Psst. our analysis okay. has found a weak point on the defensive ring. If we approach from the direction of that asteroid ring next to the station, we can use the asteroids as cover. Only one platform protects the area. Navigation-wise, it'll be tough, but not impossible. Weak point? Oh, that one. Okay, okay, okay. Where's the tug, then? That's the tug. Okay. Let's do this, then. Let's go to the tug yes, first. Sir. Maybe they will leave us alone if we're, like... If we leave their aggro range. They're still pelting me with missiles. 
I, well, I want to say torpedoes because, yeah. All right, let's deal with the Ashigaru first. Should probably have done that, like initially. Warning: incoming missile. Yeah, there we go. Warning: incoming come on, come missile. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, another one? Yeah. Well, okay. Um, send over the commandos to the Ashigaru. Understood. Our relief team have left the deck. Copy that. Oh my god, look at our... Look at the stiletto. Maybe we can spend some time repairing here. Commando to Captain, we've found a survivor. I repeat, we have found a single survivor. He's trapped beneath debris. Proceeding to free him. Very good. No man behind. Leave no man behind. Our commandos are returning. Very good, very good. The commandos have returned, sir. The survivor is asking to talk to you. All right. Captain, I am Yori Karumoto, flight engineer of the Ashigaru asteroid tug. The station's defense system started shooting at us. I fear it is malfunctioning. Please, be very careful. Tell me more about this defense system. The station is protected by concealed weapon platforms. All I know about the inner ring is that it's designed to prevent incursions by enemy fighters. The platforms of the outer ring are mounted with missiles and military-grade mass-drive guns. Yep. I can provide you with their coordinates. Oh, the platforms are automated, sir. When they are activated... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? What are we sending away? Huh? That is our commandos. Where are they going? They fire at everything that moves. They can be disabled with a specially ciphered transmitter. But only Syndicate battleships and the station itself are equipped with such devices. Where are you? No, 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 no. Yes, sir. Fuck. Yeah, I was not supposed to command them. Yeah, they, yeah. I had them activated when I was issuing the order. Jesus. Commandos have returned. Uh Right. So what did they say? Uh obtain platform deactivation hardware codes, destroy all platform. Well, sin message log. Uh the platforms are automated, sir. When they are activated, the fire at everything that moves, they can be disabled. 
was especially ciphered transmitter, but only syndicate battleships and the station itself. Well, because we... God damn it. Because I made one error here, I missed that complete, like, that entire dialogue. The asteroids are jamming. So, like, I didn't, I don't know what to do now, you know? Um, let's do this one more time. Calibrating trace pattern now. Jesus. Trace pattern ready. I am uploading the coordinates. Okay. Understood. There are a lot of reloads included in, in this, well, like, in this gameplay, but it's usually because I mess up, you know? I have detected energy traces, most likely from a battle, source unknown. I am picking up molecule-sized remnants of some kind of casing. We have located a broken piece of drive mask. It belongs to a Corvette-sized ship. We cannot detect any other wreckage. First of all, we'll go for uh, the Ashigari. Excuse me. Aye, aye, sir. Ashigari, Ashigari. I don't remember what they called it or what the name was. Automatic message. You have entered the private property of the Kasaki Syndicate. Aye, aye, sir. Leave immediately or we will open fire. We have detected the platform, sir. through Rex. The base is more important now. But sir, the log registered that we received an emergency signal. According to the Earth Sector Treaty, we are obliged to help. May I recommend? Forget it, Lieutenant. More lives are at risk aboard the station. The broadcast signal of the tug is very weak, sir. I doubt that anyone else would have picked it up. I suggest that we approach the tug and send a rescue team over. Awaiting your orders, sir. Yes, sir. Our relief team have left the deck. There are actually a lot of things that can go wrong in these missions. If you want to, like, do them perfectly, you... More you platforms, sir. You're kind of expected to reload and try to, try to do them right. You know what I mean? Commando to Captain, we're moving in. This barge is taking a beating. No survivors yet. Continue our search. I love the breaking here as well. These ships are so awesomely constructed. Breaking thrusters in the front as well. Commando to Captain, we've found a survivor. I repeat, we have found a single survivor. He's trapped beneath debris. Proceeding to free him.
Our commandos are returning. All right, let's just stay here and wait for the whole dialogue to run through now. Warning, incoming missile. The commandos have returned, sir. The survivor is asking to talk to you. Warning, incoming Captain, I am Yori Karumoto, flight engineer of the Ashigaru asteroid tug. The station's defense system started shooting at us. I fear it is malfunctioning. Please, be very careful. Tell me more about this defense system. The station is protected by concealed... You know what that was? That was the asteroid tug that was destroyed because it was in the uh, blast radius of the uh, explo the um, uh, detonating missile. The weapon platforms. All I know about the inner ring is that it's designed to prevent incursions by enemy fighters. The platforms of the outer ring are mounted with missiles and military-grade mass drive guns. I can provide you with their coordinates. The platforms are automated, sir. When they are activated, they fire at everything that moves. They can be disabled with a specially ciphered transmitter, but only Syndicate battleships and the station itself are equipped with such devices. Sir, our analysis has found a weak point on the defensive ring. If we approach from the direction of that asteroid ring next to the station, we can use the asteroids as cover. Only one platform protects the area. Navigation-wise, it will be tough, but not impossible. All right, there it is. How the hell do I? I'm. I guess I'm aye, aye, supposed. Sir. No, no. Aye, aye, sir. Outer platform. No. Oh, okay. So yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. All right. Let's see if we can destroy that first. Maybe, yeah, I think they're actually using that platform as the designation for the nav, the nav point for the weak point. Uh, I don't know how to, like, go the long way around, though. It seems like we're passing an awful... Like, we're passing awfully close to these... To these guys. Especially that one. Detected. Unknown object detected. Unknown object detected. Sir, we have identified a severely damaged Kisaki battle. Whoa, 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 where? Excuse me? Where? where? Oh, okay, go. Ship. According to our recon data, it's the Corvette Bushi. It seems that she was also attacked for the platforms. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's actually away from... Okay, okay. The Bushi. Let's hope they ha they aren't going to send missiles at us. Warning, incoming missile. Warning, incoming missile. Warning, incoming missile. Oh, I think we actually took care of that one. Yeah. Very good, very good. They might not be able to f fire at us soon. Hopefully, that would be good. Warning, uh. incoming missile. Okay, hold on. Warning, incoming missile. Take it out. Take it out of my sky. Warning, incoming missile. Alright. We 
might want to stay away from this a little bit to make sure that we don't um, whatever like detonation plume isn't gonna engulf that either or as well Understood. hurry before next missile arrives Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Our relief team have left the deck. Oof. They flew straight through the stiletto. <laughs> okay. I thought it was going to de be destroyed, actually. Commando to captain. We're moving in. Commando to Captain! The ships are ruined! The hull's decompressed! The entire crew is dead! We secured the bridge and located the console that controls the platforms. Johnny's working on it as we speak. Captain, someone's been tampering with these platforms. The control program structure is way zoo. I've never seen anything like it before. Be cool. I can handle it. Way cool. Give us the code, man. Sir, I think whoever messed with the system is still working it from the other side. I've nixed the platforms, but he's tracing back the codes already. This uh -oh. guy is hot, sir. He'll have them recalibrated within three minutes. That's the biggest window I can give you. All right. Commandos dispatched. Wait, what did you say? You said... I've mixed the platforms, but he's tracing back the codes already. This guy thought we he'll have them recalibrated within three minutes. That's the biggest window. Okay, so I guess we're supposed to get to Shikenja as fast as we can now. Yeah, let's just wait for the commandos to get back. Sir, the Bushi has activated its weapons. It's targeting... Wait, where are you going? Why are... Where are you going? Oh. No, I didn't even... Did I target the, the Shikenja? I don't aye think aye, so. Now. Impossible. We searched it proud astern. There were no survivors. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Come on. Warning. We are Good. under attack. Get in, get in, get in. Oof. Commandos have returned. Affirmative. Affirmative. Okay, we can actually take down the Bushi. It's very damaged. Let's, let's just do it. Kill it. Do it. Within three minutes, we need to be at Chikenja. Critical already. Fucking hell. Okay, this might have been a mistake as well. Because the engines, I don't think it can actually go anywhere. So we could have just left. 
I keep making mistake after mistake. It's a good thing I'm not a captain. <laughs> like a real captain. On the other hand, it may still have, like, torpedoes or something. That's not a good thing. That's lo that's a long-range weapon, so... I don't know. But I, we could probably have just gotten away from it. Yes, yeah, sir. okay. Go. Go, 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 go. I think it's actually... Wait. No? I mean, it's not firing anymore, so... But yeah, I think that was a great... That was a big mistake. He could only give us three minutes. We're gonna rot. The platforms have reactivated. I told no you! I told you! So fast. Let's try it anyway. Let's try it anyway. See what happens. If I lose the commandos, I think I lose the mission, actually. Yeah, I should have just gone straight for Shukenja. Uh. Alright. Warning. We are under attack. I know. Warning. Incoming missile. Warning. Incoming missile. Are we at Shukenja, or where are, where's the base? There it is. Oh, wait, is this a flak? Yeah, I don't think we can actually send our commandos over. I don't know, but... What weapons do they have? Yeah, they have flak. Uh... I mean, we're gonna have to... Alright, let's try to destroy the platforms before we do anything. All the inner platforms. Let's take them out. Aye, aye, sir. I can't believe I was stupid enough to think... Oh, what happens if we just send in the commandos? Obviously. Like, my, my defeatist thinking is like... Well, okay. Now that we missed the code... There's no way to do it. Maybe I can just try to send them in anyway. Completely missed the fact that, well, you can still destroy the platforms. Sometimes I'm... I make myself so, like, sick of myself, you know? They're actually pretty easy to destroy. That's one of them. Uh, closest, ne next closest platform. Twenty-eight, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, okay, that one. Understood. We have to take care of all the inner platforms so that they can't shoot down the shuttle when we send it over to the base. That was one. Um, now that one. Understood. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, okay. 
Warning, incoming missile. I know, I know. Warning, incoming missile. Take it missile. out. Support energy low. Oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be needed as well. Wait, are we targeting anything? Uh, wait, 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 wait. That's an outer platform. That is an inner, that is an outer, that is an outer. Alright, I think it's only one more platform, actually. Yeah, thank you. Affirmative. Once this platform is down, we can send in the... The, Ooh, um... Incoming missile. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Warning. Incoming missile. Take it out. Warning. Weapon disabled. Which weapon? Oh, the flak gun was completely destroyed. Jesus. Yeah, well, we still need to take out that platform. Yes, sir. Come on. Yeah, Ooh, we're actually taking kind missile. We're taking kind of a beating because of the stupid flat gun Ooh, not being able missile. to take out Yeah, now we are actually hmm. Don't th yeah, this is why we need to go within the three minute time span, you know? As soon as that thing is dead, we send in the commandos. Hopefully, they won't die, and hopefully we won't die. Yes, sir. There we go. Go for it. Our relief team have left the deck. All right. Down here. Something here, sir. Something very strange. Still letter to Commando. Be more precise. What have you found? It's a huge spaceship, sir. According to the ID signature, 
It's an old cargo carrier. But it's not like any cargo carrier I've ever seen, sir. I, I don't think humans can have built this. Here are your new orders, Commando. Take every specialist you have and enter that alien ship. I want continuous reports on your progress. Sir, yes, sir. We've boarded the ship, sir. We've met no resistance. Some of the equipment looks like it was made by humans. Sir, we've reached the bridge. Most of the consoles look unfamiliar. But a specialist report, we should be able to pilot the ship out of here. Stiletto to Commando. Leave with the ship if at all possible. We'll await your exit. Commando to Captain. The alien ship is ready to launch. Um, should we maybe try to take care of the platforms, I wonder? I mean, we're in pretty bad shape. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna decide to do that. I'm gonna do that. And if... If that's a bad... Uh, bad decision, I'm gonna own it and just restart the mission from the beginning. Um, because I don't think we can take, on, take out the outer platforms with, like the health that we have right now. Remember, they they are equipped with like mass drivers and missiles and everything. Every long range weapon known to mankind. So it's like, yeah. I'm going to tell them to take off now and then we'll see what happens. Commando to Captain. We're taking off, sir. Attention both ships. Mission complete. Rendezvous at the designated meeting point. Ooh. That's cool. And it's already called the Angel Wing. Interesting. Now this is a cool ship. Uh, where are we going? We should complete rendezvous at the designated meeting point. Okay, so we should be able to just... Oh, meeting point. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um... Alright, designated group one. Go for the meeting point. Which is over there. There we go. Interesting. Mm? Yeah, the angel wing is a real beauty. Cheers. Oh, I can't actually check her out yet. Like, I can't can't bring up any weapons display or any equipment or engine stats or anything like that. Why is Stiletto taking so long? Oh, it's a more cumbersome ship because it's a human-made ship. Yeah, I got you. If you act as a group... You're only as fast as your slowest member. I think that's how it goes in this game. Yeah, the stiletto took a beating. For sure, man, for sure. Where are the platforms? I'm not seeing the platforms now. Oh, these are the outer platforms. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Because they're not close to the base. 
Uh, excuse me. They aren't shooting anymore, though. Maybe a little bit strange, but okay. So, we pretty much stole the angel wing. Destroy all platforms. Okay, we were supposed to do that. I wonder if we could have done that with the angel wing. But no, I don't. Um, that's okay, I don't have to do that. The only time I'm actually going for all the secondary objectives is like when you know, life is at stake, you know? If it's not something that needs to be done, then, you know, fuck it. Evaluation. The rescue mission ended with a success that surpassed all expectations. Uh, not only did we gather plenty of information, but we also managed to get the alien ship that was named Angel Wing by the Kisaki. The, the circumstances surrounding the tragic events that took place on the Shukenja base should act as a cautionary tale. Our initial analysis implies that Tenshi, the illegal AI of the station, went mad and killed the staff. We don't have any information regarding possible causes of this outburst. All right. Captain Cromwell. We have detected Kisaki military ships on the system's border. As yet, we have been unable to identify them. But based on weight and energy patterns, it is likely to be the fleet detected near Mars three months ago. Based on our analysis of their trajectory, their target is the Sunflower. The fleet will reach the asteroid field in two days. I've had no choice but to declare red alert. Civilian ships have been evacuated and the minefield has been activated to stop intruders. I'm putting our guard fleet, the light corvettes, Madeline and Lightning, under your command. Time is of the essence, Captain. This is the first time we actually get to uh, pilot uh, or command a fleet. Um, this is interesting. Um... So yeah, we read up on Marcus Cromwell yesterday. Now our three fleets in the uh, um, or our th our three other ships in our fleet is piloted by other captains. Uh, the Angel Wing is under the command of Rudolf Weltmann, which is our resident scientist who was talking like you know forget about the tug, let's just go to the base you know, but apparently he's our like team scientist and resident uh, guru of all things scientific. Uh, very, like, you know, quantum theoreticist as well. Uh, Rudolf Weltmann Commander, this professor of German origin, has filled volumes with his work and theories. He received the Nobel Prize for Physics, aged 25, in recognition of his achievements in quantum physics. So he's pretty much Sheldon. Um... Sheldon Cooper. Uh, after that, he became professor of honor at multiple universities. He became the lead scientist of the Mo Motian Institute for Astro Research. Later, he became interested in AI psychology, and he worked on ISA Space Traffic Control AI. Um, few people know that he also published profound philosophical essays in which he examined the problems and opportunities of the expected evolution of humankind. That's a perfect guy to have on our team, you know, because we have just stumbled upon an alien ship. He retreated from the limelight eight years ago, ostensibly to start his own private research. In reality, he had accepted an offer from Space Tech and joined the corporation. 
He quit publishing from that point on. Only a few people know that he's working on new spacecraft propulsion methods. His career almost collapsed after a failed experiment resulted in four deaths. Ouch. After his recuperation, he accepted a job as a researcher aboard the, the Sunflower base. Um, Xiao Li is piloting the uh, light Corvette Lightning, which kind of looks like Stiletto, except for the rotating midsection. That, that just isn't there. Um, it makes sense. This is Space Tech's, like, design, so they should look similar. It, it even says here, Space Tech light Corvette, smaller and more agile than the Stiletto-class Corvettes. It is primarily used in research and reconnaissance missions. Delhi Commander, her parents died while they were repairing the docks of the Kelvin base orbiting Earth. She was brought up by her aunt in accordance with Confucian tradition. Her aunt tried to keep her away from space shipping, hoping to grant her a safer life. But all her restrictions and punishments did not work, and Xiao finally ended up at the academy where she excelled. She became an outstanding st strategist and a tough officer. There is a small shrine in her cabin where she lights some incense in front of a small Buddha sculpture. You actually also see their skill points here. Military, science, engineering. Whereas Rudolf Veltman has zero military, zero engineering. Uh, two science. Oh yeah, she's better in a, in a way. By the way, uh, the ship, uh, the Angel Wing ship says, Cruiser-sized alien vessel, transformed for human use. It has an engine using an unknown theory which is capable to reach uh, capable of reaching 3,000 kilometers per second speed within seconds. Very little else is known about it yet. Alright. And this ship, the, the Madeline, is piloted by an unknown commander. Just Commander. And his name is Commander. Uh... Oh yeah, there's actually a crew on the stiletto as well that we can check out. Remember this guy, that, who's actually our conscience. His name is Officer, however. Um, rank Lieutenant. Respectful family background, good schools and good grades. A career that ascended smoothly and plateaued at Flag Lieutenant. As his former boss put it, Oh, that boy Nigel? Born to become a Flag Lieutenant. He's like an old cargo freighter. Sure, steady, reliable. Just don't expect mind-blowing performance. Ouch, first of all. And second of all, I never understood that. Why didn't they put the name as Nigel? It just says officer. Because it says here, like, plain as day. Oh, that boy Nigel? So why is he named officer? It's so, so strange. But yeah, so... He's uh, our second in command, basically, or yeah. Let's see, there's no other characters on these ships. Uh, no. All right. Check the log. Personal log of Marcus Cromwell. For long, I thought this whole Kisaki case is stupid competition hysteria. The Japanese have invented some tricky procedure. Uh, they have unearthed some new metal, or they have discovered the Philosopher's Stone. What do I know? And they and they phoned home, while the other Megas fear that they are going to fa ta tail off. Uh, excuse me? Why is that one... Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was not really interested in the whole thing, but this new ship I, we have found, that is something... I'm starting to think I was extremely lucky to be involved in this whole case. The ship is beautiful. I have never seen anything similar. Its type and engines and origins are all unknown. And not only for me, even our scientists have got nothing to say. Of course, it could be a prototype, the result of the latest research of the Kisaki. But I personally agree with those who, very cautiously though, talk about alien origin. So far, there is no proof. 
Uh, the closer inspection of the Ronin did not provide any results, aside the insignificant fact that this incident could lead to a real calamity. Yeah, that was after the Ronin uh, mission. Uh, personal log of Marcus Cromwell. Tricky procedure. Unusual building materials. All that time in the army must have dulled my imagination. The Kisaki weren't hiding just any old rubbish. They've stumbled over a huge treasure trove of alien technology near Pluto. This flash new spaceship was just part of the package. They managed to get it working. I never realized how advanced Japanese technology is. And they moved from Jupiter to Pluto with jaw-dropping speed. They used the Jupiter base as a decoy to trick snoopers. A simple but effective plan. No one noticed that the enormous amounts of spare parts they took were enough to construct two space stations. They conducted mock research at U Jupiter while their analysis of the alien technology was progressing at full speed at Pluto. However, it seems they have encountered something they were not able to control. It's hardly normal for an AI, even a completely legal one, to kill every resident of the complex under its command. Everything seems to prove that that is what has happened with the Jupiter base. We're sure to find the cause of this tragedy aboard the mysterious space station near Pluto. Our scientists are requesting more and more information every minute. Colonel Finn is in const constant negotiations with the mother company. Sort of like in how an alien, they're like in, con in contact with Weyland Yutani, the mother company. Is that how our future is going to be? Like mega corporations considered like autonomous nations in their own right? Uh, and our comm lines are overloaded around the clock. I'll have the honor of captaining the newly acquired alien ship on a little excursion around Pluto. I feel sorry for the poor souls about the, aboard the ship the Shukenja, but my sadness is countered by the excitement I feel about my future journey and other things to come. Alien base. The, the Kisaki Syndicate discovers the base of the creators near Pluto. They suggest that... Oh, wait. I should... Oh, I should go with event. God damn it. Uh, the base of the, crea the creators near Pluto. They suggest that the find is a gift from a friendly alien race to help humankind reach the stars. Chikenja Beta. Kisaki Syndicate starts its secret construction near Pluto. So I'm guessing the last one was this. So yeah, I'm gonna be... I feel like that log is a little bit premature because the mission right now has us piloting, you know, um, the stiletto still. Stiletto still. As you can see here, right now it's Rudolf Veltman who's piloting the alien, the alien, age, angel wing. God damn it! Marcus Cromwell is still attached as captain to the Mar to the uh, stiletto. Interesting. Um, before we continue, let me just go and get some. I'm gonna go with iced tea. Actually, yeah, let's go. Let's do that. I don't want to, like, sit around and wait for the tea to boil again, you know? Thank you. 
Right. Here we go. Oh yeah, I should probably take my second dose today. For today. My medicine. Two potassium tablets. All right. Uh, there we go. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, okay. Start the mission. <laughs> Europa Sunflower Space Tech Military Base. Arming minefield now. Danger Wing, return to the base. Sir, an enemy hacker has hijacked the minefield. He's armed all of the mines and made them hostile to us. We're locked in. Captain Cromwell, stop those Kisaki ships. I'll support you with the station's weapon platforms. Francis DeLorean currently is on the base as my guest. I'd like to have Francis take command of the Madeline. I need someone who can keep their cool when the missiles start flying. If you insist. <laughs> All right, Francis. All right, we need to take these fuckers out. This is, let's see, this is a battleship. That is also a battleship. Yeah, there's, oh, wait. Um, okay, medium-sized warship. This is the big one, though. The Yamato. Yamamoto. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Go for the weaker ones first. Maybe if I right, let's That's command group. Uh second group is gonna be only the Angel Wing. Um No. Uh the Lightning and the Madeline. Yeah, because they're quick response, I think. Yeah. And three is going to be Angel Wing and Stiletto. There we go. Okay, good. All of you guys. It's time to respond. Okay, he, we're actually fleeing from the ship in the Angel Wing. Uh, where's, the, where's the Stiletto? Stiletto's over here. Okay. And the other... They're here. Okay, that's the Madeline. She is... No, 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 no. She's not facing the enemy. Is the li <gasps> The lightning is not facing the enemy either. Alright. Let's have the Angel Wing approach a little bit more, and then we'll all turn to face the enemy. Maybe we, sh we should have them... Turning around. Yes, sir. All right. The auxiliary terminal is still operative. We still have time for one shot before he takes control of that, too. What? One shot. One shot. What do you mean, one shot? What, with torpedoes? Yeah, let's do it. Or something. I don't know. Understood. Do you have torpedoes? No, you don't. Okay, do you have... Oh, this one doesn't have torpedoes at all. Holy shit. Wait, are we not able to shoot with the angel wing? Oh, we might not be able to shoot with her. Ah, I didn't even know that. Okay. 
I'll put that one as group four then, in that case. Yeah, yeah group four. So do it! Target the Ming! Yeah, the Ming, exactly. That was exactly what I was going for with the stiletto. Aye, aye, sir. Missiles away! Warning. Come on. We are under attack. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. Okay. First of all, you guys attack with hull breaching. Yeah, go for the Tombasu. Understood. And Stiletto, we will, like I said, we will use Understood. artillery against the Ming. Fuck! That was so close. Bang. Got him. Yes, there you go. Like one of Mama's curd cakes. We've got... Okay, we can't. We we're actually going to. Um... Yeah, we're gonna have to um... stop that and just go for the hull. Uh, just, yeah, destroy the hull. What? Except the automatic anti-aircraft guns and the fighters. Captain Cromwell, our fate is in your hands. Sir, the Ming left the formation and is heading towards the Sunflower. Yeah, we're gonna be taking out the Ming. Blockade. All oh, right, they're actually attacking the Tambasu. No, uh, all of you attack the uh, Ming. Aye, aye, there we go. We could actually do um, precision strikes as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have the stiletto keep on, keep up the fire on Ming, and I'm gonna have the uh, light corvettes to attack the uh, Yamamoto and actually do precision strikes. Understood. Um. Take out the mass driver, the mass driver, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. That might be a bad choice, but I think, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try it and see what happens, you know. Splitting up fire might be a bad choice, but let's try Target it. Target device disabled. Already? Yeah, disabled, but... We need to d destroy them, pretty much. Warning. Incoming enemy fighters. Target oh, really? is being evacuated. Alright, evacuated. Now shift your fire to the Tambatsu. Wow, yeah, that's going well. Warning. Look at that. Weapon disabled. Which weapon? Uh, oh, the flat gun. Yeah, repair. 
Why are they always targeting my flat guns? Alright, as soon as the mass driver is gone, um, start work on the laser gun. Good. Laser gun, laser gun. There we go. So the two smaller craft, we are using them to take out the weapons on the heavy battleship, the Yamamoto. Meanwhile, we are focusing on the Tembatsu and just taking it out. Oh yeah, that's really Sir, in bad shape. The Tembatsu is sending a commando unit to the Angel Wing. Sir, there are only science officers. Okay, so use our fighters to destroy that one. Or, oh, we can't do that, can we? The universe one. ...aboard the Angel Wing. They do not have enough weaponry to defend themselves and the ship. Okay, so how do I actually... ...take that one out? I don't know. Are we supposed to send the, com the s commandos to the Angel Wing? I don't know. Where is the Angel Wing, by the way? Oh, there it is. Uh... Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can... Target ship is being evacuated. Oh yeah, they didn't have time to send uh, the uh, commandos to the Angel Wing. It doesn't look like it, at least. Because there's no shuttle left. I think what happened is we d we disabled the, d the Tanbatsu before they could actually send the commandos. But it's interesting... Why would Nigel... I'm gonna call him Nigel. Why would Nigel know that? I mean, I know it's a game. Maybe he's, like, supposed to... It's scripted that he's supposed to warn us. Take out the ship before they send out the commandos. But how would he know that, you know? Interesting. Target device disabled. All right, where are we at? What are you attacking? Yeah, the Tambatsu is... Okay, so now we just focus on the Yamamoto. Um, and the Yamamoto... Yeah, laser guns are pretty much gone. Support... Engines... Yeah, I mean, we can do the same here. Just focus on their laser gun. Yes, sir. Enemy commandos destroyed. I didn't even see them in the list. It was, like, impossible to target them. I don't know. I don't really know how that should have worked out, but yeah. They only have one ship left. Still trying to fight us off with nothing because they don't have any working weapons anymore. By the way, anyone in chat? Anyone in chat? I'm just wondering. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Did not.
Okay, uh, our objectives is pretty much to destroy them, right? Prevent Kisaki from capturing the Angel Wing. The Angel Wing must survive. That's pretty much it. I mean, they can't... As soon as the laser gun is gone, they have nothing to fight us with. And their laser gun is pretty much... I mean, it's already disabled. We only need to destroy it completely. And it's gone. It's gone. They have nothing now except their flak. Flak cannons. And, like, it's... As it is right now, we're just beating a dead horse. Let's take out their engines as well. Why not? Just so they're completely dead in the water. Why not? I almost feel sorry for these guys. Kind of a cool ship, I guess. <laughs> Are they trying to run away now? Target device disabled. Secondary chemical, yeah. Oh my god. Understood. No, 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 no. Yes, sir. All the secondary engines are pretty much destroyed. St we still need to destroy their main engines. Main engines! Enemy ship disabled. Target device disabled. So the ship is pretty much disabled now. Like, I don't want to destroy it because there's so many people on board there. Everybody from the Tambatsu and the Ming pretty much evacuated to the Yamamoto. I don't want to go down in history as a mass murder, you know. I mean, the hull is still pretty much intact. Let's let's destroy everything else, like the weapon generator. Uh, what a support generator. Small size high performance nuclear that replaces the base. Okay, energy cell. Okay, we can take out the flak guns as well. I mean, since they can't even move, they can't even maneuver now. Target device disabled. It's not that hard to maneuver into position to actually align the shots at every like system that I'm targeting with the uh, precision weapons. There you go. Okay, so we only had to destroy all the weapons apparently. There you go. Yeah, destroyed ships, evacuated 100, evacuated 100. Nothing about the Yamamoto. It would be interesting to know if I actually get some points for that or something. You know, instead of destroying the ship, I just disabled it. Oh, look at this. We got an accomplishment. Marcus Cromwell, for exemplary achievement in security activities against the Kasaki Corporation near the Flums, Flum, the Sunflower Station in Jupiter Sector on May, t May 14th, 2112, as the commander of the security force defending the Sunflower Station, Captain Cromwell valiant valiantly led his ships into battle. Thanks to his extraordinary courage and tactical where 
tactical wherewithal. Um, he managed to destroy or disable all three attacking ships while protecting the Sunflower Station in the process, thus, um, thus assure, assuring his, thus assuring our company's position in Jupiter sector and, and enabling us to continue the high priority scientific activity that is being conducted aboard the base. His superb leadership contributed to the successful accomplishment of the ST34456 Alpha Directive, aiding the Space Tech Corporation's effort in the sector. All right, so we got we got a commendation. Nice. Uh, although evaluation, although the Kasaki arrived in forces in force to recapture the Angel Angel Wing, you saved the day again. The Kasaki fleet was the last significant force that we had to worry about in Jupiter sector. So with this victory, Space Tech has become the leading power in the sector. Very nice. I'll say this. This kind of closes the book on the first chapter of this game. Um, the first chapter is basically the only chapter that actually revolves around Jupiter. So it's kind of interesting how the game is actually called the Jupiter Incident. Nexus the Jupiter Incident. When it's only like the first chapter that takes place at Jupiter. However, we're not going to wrap things up just yet. We're going to do the final mission. Because the final mission takes us into a whole different ball game um the final mission of chap of the first chapter and after that we'll wrap things up and continue tomorrow because now things get really interesting According to the data we downloaded from the Shukenja base... The wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, this is where you actually uh, upgrade the, the ship. Yeah, I remember this. Configuration, information... Here's all... all the, dis the metals are displayed here, yeah. Um... So here's, yeah, okay, I might as well teach or tell you guys a little bit about how this is done. Um, with the Angel Wind comes an upgrading, uh, uh, an upgraded mechanic. You can actually switch out a lot of the different uh, components. And here are resource points or po so uh, power source points available for repairs and modification. Um amount of resource points necessary to mount the device. Oh, right. Yeah, so you need to have an actual... Yeah, we're, she's totally blank right now. We have nothing on her. Data scanner, fusion engine, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Yeah, so we have normal weapons, we got heavy weapons, and we got special weapons. Um, And then weapon generators, energy cells, supports... Uh, data scanners, yeah. So right now, I just wanted to uh, go through the diary at first, first, just so. Oh yeah, this actually shows where on the ship all the points are located. That's one point. Yeah, that's one. That's two points. No, yeah, that's two points too. Um. If I just do this... No, wait. Uh... Did I save? No, but I, sh I will save here. Yeah, okay, back. Thank you, here. Now, I will save game. Ego 3, just to be safe. Ego 3, and I want to read the diary, diary entries, before we actually uh, go through the briefing again. Um, because they kind of do this in the wrong order. Like, they, they play the briefing first, and then they give the, give the 
ah, they give the give you oh my god i can't talk tonight then they give you the opportunity to read the log like the log that is being written in between missions so i kind of always want to read the log first and then go into the mission uh, mission briefing um so i'll do that now i will read the log and then i'll reload um oh no wait can can i do that oh i might have actually screwed up yeah i don't think oh what? no wait configuration Wait, I do have resource points here. Uh, yes, I think I can actually still do that. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's read the log first here. Decrease luminosity, and I want some music. Wagner? No, thank you. I need something more relaxing. Debussy? Debussy? Deb Debussy? Great. Uh, it was a tough fight. The Kasaki didn't get where they are by being weak, but still, their firepower surprised me. I'm glad Francis was here. I needed his support. No matter what they say, even a battle-hardened veteran needs his friends. Real friends, who know what he expects from them, who understands his thoughts, who know his past, his virtues, his weaknesses, who see behind the uniform. Yes, it was a long time ago that Francis and I saw through each other. And we knew, no matter how hectic things got, we would be there to look out for one another. Now, once again, we went, we venture blindly, perhaps recklessly, into the unknown. I like to think that he would be accompanying me, even without company loyalty to think about. Well, it's a good thing that the ISA and, the, and Space Tech are allied. Nevertheless... I should always, always press event before I read it. That's true. When there are multiple uh, entries, I should always press event. Because that lines it up chronologically. Entry? I'm not sure what that does and why it's even there. Uh, okay, so. Replay the mission briefing. According to the data we downloaded from the Shukenja base, the only research that went on there involved small-time basic projects. The main research base was established near Pluto, using spare components from the Shukenja Alpha Station. Our analysts speculate that alien technologies were researched on Shukenja Beta, hence the ship we captured. The orbits of Jupiter and Pluto are close to opposite at present. The distance between them is almost 6,000 million kilometers. I'm sure you're aware, with our current drive technology, the journey would take almost four years. Oh However, my. if we use the alien ship, it would take only a few weeks. As soon as we have finished studying the engines and the basics of controlling her, we intend to send an expedition to the Shukenja Beta. Four years. Captain, I am relieving you from your command of the Stiletto and assigning you to command the Angel Wing on the Pluto expedition. Your task is the same as it was at the Shukenja Alpha. Enter the base and collect information. The crew of the Stiletto will be transferred to the new ship, along with some of our best specialists in the field. Professor Veltman will head your science team. He has been the lead scientist at the Motyan Institute for five years now. He is an expert in quantum physics, has a PhD in transplanetary philosophy, and is Earth's leading authority on parahuman logic, non-linear reasoning, and AI psychology. All right. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, why was I privy already to that log entry before our previous mission? Because that is exactly the log entry that I... Like, this... Not that one. Uh, this one. Here, here it actually says, and that's 1405, 2012, 2112, that's 24, it's 10 days later, or 10 days before he's talking about, like, 
this entry should not have been revealed before the previous mission. It all it says it all here, like um, were enough to construct two space stations. They conducted mock research at Jupiter while their analysis of the alien technology was progressing at full speed at Pluto. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And then he goes on to talk about how he has been um, um, assigned to command the Angel Wing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. It actually says that. So that's kind of strange. I I don't like that. That's that's a bit of a fuck up on the devs, um, side. But okay, never mind. Configuration. We need to actually put some points here. Um. So. The angel wing is completely blank right now. We got spaces for. Normal weapons and special weapons. That's a normal weapon only, normal weapon only, normal weapon and heavy weapons, normal weapon and heavy weapons, special weapon, special weapon, and this is a shield slot, fusion engine, secondary fusion engine, um, yeah, okay, so, about weapons, now actually, do we have shields? We don't have any shields yet, right? No, okay. Alright, what normal weapons do we have? Astronomical laser, low power laser, low power laser cannon, usually part of the standard equipment of the spaceships. It is generally used for destroying small sized asteroids and other space debris. Astronomical laser, yeah. Uh, space Tech laser gun, a military laser made by the Space Tech Corporation thanks to its precision. It is perfect for attacking the devices. Of yeah, this is the one we've been using, I think. Astronomical laser. That's not even... Yeah, I don't know why that is there. Linear Gatling gun. And then uranium Gatling gun. Yeah, linear Gatling gun is the weaker one, apparently. Or, no. The the uh, slower and more inac inaccurate one. Ura uranium Gatling gun. Large caliber, quick firing... Accurate weapon with high firepower. It fires dirty uranium projectiles. It is primarily used to attack the ship's hull. What about this one? I don't know why we have access to, like, the worst. Wait. Amount of resource points necessary to mount device. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Resource points. Space tech flak system. That's a special weapon, yeah. Low-powered, accurate laser cannon used against hostile fighters and incoming missiles. Weapon generators... We already have that, right? No, yeah, we do. Okay. Um, small, mid-sized... Small-sized reactor providing energy to the weapon system. Yeah, okay. Energy cell. Spare energy cells to provide additional energy to certain subsystems of the ship if ne necessary. Uh, space support, space tech ECM system, electronic countermeasure system for jamming the targeting computers of enemy enemy units. Sensor, the latest development of our company at the military level. Sensor system, optimized primarily for ST sensor array. Wait, don't I already have that now? Data scanner. Oh, scientific data. Ah, okay. Data scanner. Okay, so... Ah, yeah, we don't have any shields right now. Shield generators. I don't think. Energy cells. Okay, so we need to, of course, be clever about this. We have 14 resource points. Um, Space tech laser gun. Uh, will be, let's see, there and there. Yeah, this could be a flag system, or no. That's probably a better place for it. Or there. 
As you can imagine, it takes a while when you're playing this game, when you get to the conf configuration. You have to, like, do a lot of thinking. You have to, like, consider what the best options are. Um, we need a flak system, obviously, so we'll put a flak gun there. Or two flak guns, I guess. Um, or it might be three if it's on the other side here as well. Read the image. Okay, never mind. Um, then we will put uh, heavy weapons. Yeah, we'll use heavy weapons for both this point and th these points. Yeah, exactly. We'll have two heavy weapons. Thank you. I'm like ordering weapons here. Uranium, uranium. There we go. And then we will have space tech laser gun. And space tech laser gun. No, actually, wait. Let's put that. Ah. Space tech laser gun there. I have four points remaining. Okay. Um. Let's see. Four points. I could increase my flak system. Flak is. To, yeah, that'll leave two. Two points. Two points. Uh, energy cells. I could put in energy cells. Extra energy. Uh, I cannot use the Space Tech ECM system. What was that? That was countermeasures. Jamming targeting computers of enemy, enemy units. And the sensor array... Latest development of our company in the military is optimized primarily for asteroid fields. It effectively differentiates the signals of asteroids with high ore content from the signals of real battleships or other artificial objects. It also makes the identification of devices easier. That one could be a good thing, actually, to have. Let's put that one in there. Now I have only one point remaining. Um, could go with an energy cell, but I feel like the ECM system is something I should... I think I need to trade off something. But I don't want to trade off anything here. Damn. Uh... No, maybe, maybe we will, um, maybe we'll just go with this for now. Yeah, let's go with this energy cell, spare energy cell, that's, we'll go with that, okay? Oh yeah, there's squadrons here as well. Oh, oh right, they, oh! Oh, I do have Space Marines. Okay, I do have that. I can't... Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. And I know why I have that. Because I need to be able to have that for the story in the next mission. Alright. That'll have, that'll have to do. Confirm. There we go. Save. Ego 3. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Alright. Final mission for tonight. Yeah. Let's go. Now, the, now things get trippy. Let's do this. Start mission. Pluto, Shikenja Beta, top secret Kasaki research base. Kisaki Beta is within visual range, sir. We are also detecting an unidentified object close to it, and something else, too. 
A wormhole? Sir, this... this is unbelievable. No wormhole has been detected in our solar system since the Noor catastrophe. Please, sir, we have a duty to inspect it immediately. The regular sensors are unable to get a lock on it. Sir, I think there's something else you should see. It's an unidentified artificial object. No energy emissions, no signs of life. Perhaps the scanner will shed some light on it. The station seems abandoned. What shall we inspect first, sir? The station, the wormhole, or the alien object? Well... Yeah, we can decide what to inspect first. Thing is, I know exactly what's gonna happen, so I'm not going to... I'm gonna do this in an order which I think might be a good order. We'll see. Um, Alright, so scan... Yeah, let's let's scan the wormhole first. Obviously, logically, that would be the thing that the crew would be most curious about. So let's do Understood. that. The data scanner device provides detailed information uh, about the target. Uh, this information is called theory as a whole. Everything has a theory. The more we know about something's theory, the more we understand its operation. Okay. The other task of the data scanner is to collect secrets. Secrets are valuable pieces of information that could be of great value to you. It is worth the effort to obtain them. To use the device, simply click the recon button, then select the target by right-clicking it. The device only works from combat range. Its, us its usage... Excuse me. Its usage is considered aggressive, so it may have happened that someone is going to see it as an attack. You can follow the scanning progress on the target unit panel. It can be interrupted at any time and resumed again as well. The information already obtained is not lost. More information can be extracted from intact targets than from damaged ones. Yes, okay. Nice. Let's go. The wormhole awaits. can't actually focus on it, I think. No, because it's an unknown of an entry. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> yeah, up here you see the progress. In position. This is the very same wormhole that collapsed 60 years ago at Mars, when we lost the Noah. I suppose it is where the aliens came from as well. My father perished, along with thousands of settlers. It was the biggest disaster of the space age. This time, the fissure in space is wider. If only we could have a look at the other side. Forget it. That is not our objective. Maybe next time. Alright, let's go for the station. The ship can enter a wormhole only if enough scan data is available. Uh, after scanning, select the jump command, then right-click on the wormhole. Oh, are we able to actually enter already? We're not here to do that, though. Like, I wonder if... He... No. I'm pretty sure the game would stop me because the mission needs to play out. I'm not going to tempt fate. Let's scan the base. Aye, aye, sir. Artificial object. <clears throat> the platform 
uniforms are inoperative, sir. We should proceed with caution. Don't you mean... I mean, if you're saying they are inoperative, then... Target high special information. Ooh. There are no signs of life. The life support systems are inoperative. The energy see if I can... supplies are active. Can I send a commando unit over there, maybe? All communication channels are quiet, even the automated channels as well. It seems that somebody has disabled them, sir. We have found what we were searching for. There is a structure beneath the surface of the asteroid. It is 10 million cubic meters. It is made from materials similar to our ship. This must be what the Kesaki discovered. It's why they established the station here. We have to find out what is down there. What became of the crew? Yep. Let's do it. Send in the commandos. Yes, commandos dispatched. We've arrived, sir. Commandos We're moving in. The target. Immediately, Commanders, do you read me? Sir, our Commandos are dead. Fuck. Okay, I'll own that. The unidentified object. It's moving. Wait a minute. I am... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, we have to find out what is down there and what became of the crew. Okay, hang on. What if we actually scan the artificial object first before we do that? Yes, sir. The object is absorbing the majority of our energy beams and re emitting them as light. Should we carry on with our scanning? Yeah, why not? I'm still gonna send in the commandos because I made that choice before. Mm. Complete. Most interesting. Complete. It is undoubtedly a Valian origin, but I have no idea what its purpose might be. It absorbs all kind of energy, and its mass cannot be determined in one instant. It shifts from zero to infinite. Does it have any similarities with our ship? No, it is definitely different. There is no sign of component parts, no airlock, no navigational devices. We cannot even detect a weapon. It is made from unknown materials, and its structure is solid and homogeneous. Our commanders could take a closer look. I do not recommend it, sir. It is too dangerous. Well, no, because I actually made the choice already to send them in to the base, so I'm going to do that. Um, I have to own that decision. I don't want to be the guy who, you know, oh, I made a mistake, I'm going to reload. Oh, I made another mistake, I'm going to reload. I'm going to own up to that, and I'm going to send in the commandos to the base, even though I know they're going to die. Yes, sir. Do that. Commandos dispatched. That means that I'm going to lose the commandos, and also the chance to actually possibly find out more about the alien object. 
But it was a decision I made, so I stick by it. We're alive, sir. We're moving in. The target. Army! My suit decompressing! Repeat my suit! What are you doing? Cease fire! You went off by itself. I didn't touch up. Hey, look out! Commander. Fall back. Fall back immediately. Commanders, do you read me? Sir, our commandos are dead. Yeah. That'll happen. The unidentified object. It's moving. object has opened fire at us. Structural integrity is at 80% and the IP drive has been rendered inoperative. We can't survive many more shots like that. Oh. What happened? Report. Sir, the computer is activating unknown devices. Someone has broken into the system. Our ship is locked in an energy field. Sensor efficiency is decreasing. The object's yep. energy level is increasing. I think it's shields. going to fire. Whatever it was activated the shields. I am Tenshi, lead scientist of the station, fourth generation artificial intelligence. I activated the protective shield of the ship. Listen to me. Do not shoot back. Why should I trust the program? The other station's AI went out of control. I am not a program. I will explain later. For now, you will just have to trust me. Your only chance is the wormhole. It cannot follow you there. I can only keep it away from the ship's system for a limited amount of time. It has killed everyone aboard the station and will kill everyone here as well. Down. Are our computers under attack? You see... This is where, what I mean by now everything takes on a whole different thing. Because now they're ushering us into the wormhole. And we have no idea what's on the other side. We're basically leaving the solar system behind. We have a multitude of anomalous readings, sir, but I am not sure how to categorize them. What should we do? I'm awaiting orders. Um... Yeah, I mean, we need to flee. All right, let's go. Where's the wormhole? Where's the wormhole? There it is. Go. Approach it. Oh, sorry. Aye, aye, sir. Move, 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 move. Warning. Shield down. This is a strange thing. The platforms have opened fire at the unidentified object. All right. But that's a bad thing because it will absorb the energy of the platforms. Captain, you must destroy. Oh shit! Oh, I need to destroy them. Okay. Fine. Understood. Destroy those platforms immediately. The alien is gaining energy from them. I thought we were supposed to flee through the wormhole. Okay, this is probably a bonus objective now. Yeah. Okay. Destroy all the platforms. Do it. Yeah, uh, what's going on with our freaking shield? There we go. It is trying to break into the ship's systems. I cannot hold it back for long. We must enter the wormhole. We have four minutes. 
Okay, but let me destroy the freaking platforms first. Which one is... Which one... Where's the closest one? There are... F no, there are three. Okay, good, 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 good. Affirmative. Destroy that one. Understood. Okay, now it says flee through the wormhole. So, here's the thing. Once we go through the wormhole, the next chapter cinematic is going to trigger. And it's going to give us a lot of exposition. Now, I'm going to wrap it up afterwards. So, I'm pretty much going to watch that cinematic. And then I'm going to save. And then I'm going to, um, well, end the stream. Basically, tomorrow we're going to just pick up where we left off but consider it a sneak peek for what's to come tomorrow okay uh where's the one understood yeah go for it so just like everything you know of this game so far like the whole corporate espionage the different corporations fighting against each other leave that behind because we're quite literally leaving that part of the story behind now as we enter the wormhole I was a little bit shocked about or with that um, when I played this game the first time around I was like but there's stuff going on there you know like <laughs> We only but have three minutes left to enter the wormhole. Oh, shush you. Warning. Shield down. Don't worry. Affirmative. All right, prepare for wormhole displacement. Or travel or whatever. Warning. Shield down. Here we go. There are some things no amount of academy training can prepare you for. Flying into an unexplored wormhole on the advice of an alien AI is definitely one of them. My instinct said we could trust Angel. And besides, what choice did we have? Yeah, they call her Angel, Angel now. that she was the leading scientist at the Shokenja base. It was attacked and destroyed by a superior AI somehow connected with the strange machine we fled from. Puzzled by the few scraps of information we had, I wondered what we might encounter on the other side. What we found was beyond my wildest imagination. Marcus Cromwell, Captain's Log, 0109-2112. Our arrival in this new world proved peaceful until the alarms went off. Alien ships appeared in front of us, backed up by an apparently well-armed space station. Fearing we'd fallen into a trap, crewmen armed their consoles and prepared to open fire. Imagine our confusion when we noticed a sign on the side of the closest ship that read Marco Polo. <laughs> Project Noah, remembered on Earth as one of the worst catastrophes to befall humankind, was in fact a success. The wormhole that the settlers used when they departed did indeed collapse, but the ship, Noah's Ark, survived. Yep. 
My father and his crew reached their destination and established a colony. Though they lost all contact with Earth, they found new allies. An immensely advanced, somewhat unusual race known as the Vardrax. Though I call them allies, in truth the relationship is less balanced. Despite their technological prowess, the Vardrax seem to lack the stomach for war, while their enemies, on the other hand, positively relish it. The inherent aggression of our race segued conveniently with their plans. In exchange for technological assistance, the settlers of the Noah became mercenaries in the Vardrag's war against a third race, the Gorgs. Humankind hoped that the settlers would discover utopia, but all they've found are new wars, new enemies, and new ways of killing. Mm -hmm. We're pulled into a war. between the Vardrags and the Gorgs was never a close one, but war only erupted after the recent cataclysm. For reasons unknown, the wormhole system that linked their solar systems started to realign, throwing vast interplanetary empires into chaos. The tunnels could no longer be used to connect the different regions, leaving remote provinces isolated. The Gorgs held the Vardrags responsible, believing them to be the only ones capable of causing a disaster of such massive proportions. However, the human settlers explained to me that according to the Vardrags, the realignment of the wormholes is the work of the Mechanoids, some kind of rogue AIs. The Mechanoids possess terrifyingly advanced skills and abilities. Just talking about them makes the Vardrags nervous. By the sound of it, with good reason. They think that the collapse of some well-known stars are also caused by the mechanoids. All the evidence we've seen so far suggests that the object that attacked the Kisaki Beta Station was of mechanoid origin. Footage from the Vardrag's abortive attempt to make contact a few years ago seems to confirm our suspicions. This has prompted the settlers to ban the Angel Wing from returning through the wormhole until the area we left behind has been explored. Until the probes return with their data, the settlers have invited us to enjoy the hospitality of the central colony, Noah. Yep. So we are pretty much stuck here now. Uh, but, hey, we found humans. Honestly, we can actually... We can save this for tomorrow. Um save the briefing pretty much um let's go with ego four i guess yeah there we go all right and oh we only have one personal log apparently we can deal with that tomorrow we can we can read that one tomorrow but yeah now the story starts picking up um so yeah, let's uh, let's end this here, shall we? Um, bum, 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 bum. Mine manual, thank you, and there we go. All right, well, guys, there seems to have been no one in chat. Uh, at least nobody that has wanted that wanted to. Uh, uh, make themselves known, which is unfortunate, but uh, that's what happens sometimes. Uh, if you want to, you can always check out my Discord, which is reachable through this link. That is where you'll always get the latest news and updates regarding the channel. And if you want to check my progression with the retro games, um, yeah, uh, you can check out the progression list, which is reachable through this link. Um, that's where you'll be able to check out the backlog and also where we have been in the past seven years. Well, six and a half years with the stream when it comes to the retro stuff. Um, and uh, 
on that note, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably continue a little bit tomorrow. Usually it'll be, usually it is uh, about 50, 50% chance of me streaming on a Friday. But I think I might stream tomorrow uh, as well. So uh, we'll see what happens. And then of course, uh, the weekend is my uh, standard, you know, time off, uh, basically. On Monday, we will return to Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun, um, because we always do Modern Monday, so we do more modern stuff on Mondays. Uh, and then Tuesday, I will not be streaming at all, because I'm going to um, basically prepare myself for what's in store for me on Wednesday uh, in my personal life. So, and then we'll see what happens on Wednesday. I might be streaming or something. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, that is it. Thank you for tonight and have a good one. Remember to stay safe, mind social distance, and always rem remember to keep the retro legacy alive. The Zigobite83 wishing you the best. Take care, good night, and goodbye.